So in this video, I'm going to go through uh, a problem that if you are building a 2D platformer, you might have run into. So sometimes as you are moving along a platform, your character or any character in the game actually might just clip somewhere on the platform. Alright, like this. Okay, so as you can, if you if I head down further into the level, you can also see my enemy here is actually uh, clipping on the ground. So I'm just gonna give him a touch to get him moving. So I'm gonna go through in this video with you the 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 the, the reason why this occurs, and as well uh, as how to fix it. Okay, so uh, you'll see here my enemy is uh, getting clipped on the ground again. Okay, so the reason this uh, happens is because if we look at the collider for my tile map this is actually a, a tile map component all right so um if i just zoom in right here you'll see uh my colliders for the tile map are actually distinct okay so um what's gonna happen here is that because these uh tiles are distinct okay you can see the enemy is clipping on the edge of the tiles Okay, so if I recreate this uh, issue again, let me just touch the enemy and uh, have him move. Okay, every time he clips, notice that he always clips at the edge of my collider. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the tile map renderer just to show you a clearer view of how my collider looks like. Okay, so all the green you see here are the colliders. Okay, and when I move, if I clip, it always clips on uh, in between two two tiles. Okay, so uh, one way to fix this is really the the, the only way, uh, or rather the most effective way to fix this is to basically have. Okay, let me just unplay this, and the most effective way to fix this is basically to use this component called the composite collider. Okay, what I'll do is when I add a composite collider, you'll see uh, both a rigid body is added as well as the composite collider that I wanted. Alright, so to make use of this composite collider, all I gotta do is just uh, get my collider responsible for all these tiles and check use by composite. This combines all the colliders into one. Okay, so uh, it's a little hard to see because the lines are green, but it's definitely there. Okay, if I were to turn off the tile map renderer, you'll be able to see that. Alright, so uh, there you have it. So just remember if you're using this uh, this method to, to combine your colliders, you will have to grab your rigid body and set the body type here to static. Alright, because if you don't do that, uh, what's going to happen is that your, your entire level is going to fall off the map because uh, it has physics alright so once you do that uh, and you make your rigid body static this is gonna solve the clipping problem for you alright no more clipping uh, from the enemy that I have here also Alright, so the other issue that you might have is uh, if you're not using a tile, uh, tile map renderer or a tile map of any sort, uh, you might just be using a, a parent child system where, okay, so here I have a platform with four sprites inside. Okay, and each of these sprites has its own collider. In such a situation, you can also use the uh, composite collider. So uh, it's the same thing here. So if my, my parent here doesn't have a... Uh, Collider. Okay, if I would add a composite collider, uh, there will be a rigid body added. And if I would change to static, and uh, if I were to grab all of my bulk colliders in the child and check used by composite, this will cause the four box colliders to combine into one collider. Okay, so if you're not using the tile map renderer or the tile palette to build your levels, you can still make use of a composite collider to combine. Uh, colliders from your children into one single collider. This solves again the problem of having having your characters or your platform uh, enemies or NPCs clip 
on these platforms. Okay, so uh, the final way really is instead of having a composite collider, if you want to simplify things, uh, you see here I have again, this is a 9 by one tile. You can also just uh, apply one standard, one, one single box collider onto, onto, the, onto the object to make the uh, collider continuous. Okay, and that's all I have for this video. Uh, I hope this helped you. Uh, I'll see you soon.